Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here on this Wednesday. It is the Earthmaster out here with uh, an update video here on a rather strong flare coming in to the X-ray flux chart right now. This is coming off of that giant sunspot here that I've been chatting about recently, how it's been showing quite a bit of complexity. 3590 is the culprit. Blasting off a decent X flare. This is just a few minutes behind here on the UV filter ray. That will no doubt look uh, very awesome here in a little bit. But uh, it does look like we're uh, seeing some X flare activity right now as an X 1.6. That's currently uh, what it is at right now. It has not peaked. Uh, so it's possible it looks like this may be going back up here a little bit. Uh, very strong flare coming into the area. And this is no doubt stirring up uh, some uh, elevated activity there across the ionosphere in terms of charged protons here reaching the planet. It takes about seven minutes from the X flare activity uh, to uh, kick up out here. You can see the radio blackout being observed there across the central Pacific. Very strong flare. And uh, uh, again, that's from a uh, giant sunspot region. I, I knew it. I just knew. It was uh, building up some steam here. We gotta watch that, cause that is a, uh, in somewhat of an Earth-directed component here. Uh, not for sure why that's showing an M3.5 here. It looks like that may be behind, but that's obviously getting into the, uh, the X-Flare range, 1.8 so far. Looks like we are curving out here a little bit in terms of that flaring activity. I'm gonna wait a minute here for this to, uh, continue to peak out uh, earthquake activity in general across the globe has uh been somewhat moderate uh low to moderate out here so i wouldn't doubt it we start to see things start to ramp up here following this x flare activity it seems as though whenever we get these large flaring events and uh, this one's uh, kind of facing the earth as well could just be enough to stir things up across the area a little bit of activity there at mount st helens coming in and it uh, looks like Southern, or Northern California showing a little spike on that as well for earthquake activity. So we'll watch it. Definitely, uh, uh, it does seem, you know, it, the relationship between earthquake activity and space weather events uh, are uh, key, I think, into, you know, hopefully one day uh, being able to uh, take a look at, you know, the, uh, the relationship between the two and make a scientific uh, uh, theory on them. But it does look like we have peaked out uh, in that uh, respect there to this uh, chart. Double check this here. Make sure I got the most recent data. Uh, so at X 1.8, that's a you know a pretty decent flare. If we look at the solar cycle progression right now, um, no, not the progression, but the uh, top solar flares. Here we go. So an X 1.8, that would put it at uh, roughly about the ninth strongest flare uh, in the solar cycle if uh, if we indeed are topped out here so x 1.8 looking at the chart here like i say we're starting to go back down so i believe we peaked 1.8 um as far as any type of eruptive component uh we'll have to look here in the days ahead this image is still behind just by a couple minutes it looks like about 10 minutes or so but you could see this activity really stirring up just prior to the X flare activity. When this comes in, it will no doubt uh, look uh, very dramatic looking. So uh, we'll check back later on this, but uh, again, an X 1.8 coming in right now on the uh, sun. And that is from 3590, a very large sunspot region. And uh, as I mentioned, it was looking uh, fairly complex this morning. Still looking uh, fairly promising there. Obviously, from the magnetogram image that is uh, listed. All right, stay safe out there. Uh, we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later. Keep an eye on earthquake activity.